Hey guys, what's up? I am back with a brand new video and it's time to do a camera test of the new Realme 8 and guys and this is a new mid-range phone from Realme which is costing around 40,000 PKR in the Pakistan market and guys in this price range we have a quad camera on the back as you can see we have a 64 megapixel main camera with f1.8 aperture then we have a 8 megapixel ultra wide we also have a 2 megapixel macro and a 2 megapixel depth sensor on this phone and guys on the front we have a 16 megapixel selfie camera inside uh, inside this punch hole so first let me go to the settings and let me show you the android version on this phone and you can see this phone is running on android 11 and also we have a realme ui 2.0 on this phone this phone is powered by mediatek helio g95 chipset with a 8 gp of ram and 128 gp of internal storage so first let me show you the camera ui of the realme 8 here is the camera ui of the realme 8 as you can see and guess you can see that here is a normal and here is your ultra wide we also have a video mode on this phone and guys in video mode we also have a ultra steady mode ultra steady max as well which give you a very good video stabilization guys we also have a ultra wide video mode on this phone we also have a night mode which is also available in the ultra wide lens as well we also have a portrait mode on this phone and guys on the realme 8 we does not have anything like the ai highlight video as well as the bokeh video mode and that thing it is not really available on the realme 8 and that's a really bad thing and guys we also have a 64 megapixel mode as well when you go to the more section and guys we also have a staring mode we also have a dual view video mode and you can see in which you can record videos with the back as well as with the front camera and guys we also have a slow motion and you can see and guys we also have a pro expert mode on this phone and guys we also have ultra macro mode on this phone in which you can take macro shots without any problem so guys now let's see the video recording size with the back camera maximum and the back camera maximum shoot 4k at 30 fps we also have a full hd as 60 fps option as well which is not available in the ultra violence as well so now let's see the front camera and guys on the front we have a 16 megapixel selfie camera as you can see and on the front we also have a video mode on the front we also have a ultra steady mode which give you a very good video stabilization again on the front we does not have a bokeh video mode as well as a ai highlight video ai color portrait video feature on this phone and guys on the front we also have a night mode and you can see and the portrait mode it is also available with the front cameras you can see and guys let me show you a lot of camera samples as well as video recording you get a better idea regarding the camera performance of the new realme 8 okay guys and this is a 4k at 30 fps video recording of the realme 8 with the back camera on the back we have a 64 megapixel main camera f1.8 aperture and guys right now i'm just walking around and you guys are a judge of the video quality as well as the microphone quality as well so now let's see the video stabilization right now i'm just walking around holding my phone with my hand and also let me know how is the dynamic range on this phone so now let's running and you can see and the video separation it is really average on this phone so now let's see the art focus and art focus it is also really fast on this phone no issue whatsoever okay guys and this is a full hd at 30 fps video recording of the realme 8 with the back camera and guys and this time i am using the ultra steady mode on this phone in which your video separation will be improved a lot and you can see right now i'm just walking around and the video separation is improved a lot as you can see but the quality it is not as good as in the 4k mode that we get in the 4k mode so now let's see the video separation right now i'm just walking around and now let's running and you can see and the video separation i would say it is improved but the quality it is not really good okay guys and this is the full hd at 30 fps video recording of the realme 8 with the back camera at this time i am using the ultra steady max mode on this phone which uses the ultra wide lens on this phone 
on the back we have a 8 megapixel ultra wide and you can see in this mode we get a very good video stabilization again i'm just walking around and now let's running and and you can see and the video stabilization it is not really good i have to say in the ultra wide as well as the video quality but in ultra wide we get so much area for recording but you can see that and the video quality it is not really good according what i see on the screen right now okay guys and this is the full hd s60 fps video recording of the realme 8 with the back camera and right now and the video looks really really smooth because this is a 60 fps video and also i think that and the color it is improved a little bit as well as the brightness of this video but again you guys are a judge of everything now let's see the video stabilization in full hd as 60 fps mode so right now i'm just walking around you can see now let's running again and you can see and the video stabilization in this mode it is also not really good little bit shakingness so now let's see the full hd at 30 fps video recording mode okay guys and this is a normal full hd at 30 fps video recording of the realme 8 with the back camera and this is a normal mode and according to what i see on the screen and i have to say that and the dynamic range it is improved a little bit in my opinion so now let's see the video stabilization in this mode again i'm just walking around so now let's running and you can see and the video quality as well as the video stabilization it is really good on this phone but i wish that this phone should perform more better but you guys are the judge of the video quality as well as the microphone quality okay guys and this is a full hd at 30 fps video recording of the realme 8 with a back camera and this is a normal ultra wide video which is coming at full hd at 30 fps so you can see in ultra wide we get so much area for recording although the quality it is really really bad and you can see the pixels it is not really sharp so again in ultra wide we get so much area for recording and again i'm just walking around now let's running and you can see again okay guys and this is a full hd at 30 fps video recording of the realme 8 and this time i am the dual view video mode on this phone in which you can record videos with the front as well as with the back camera at the same time and you can see and this is a really good feature as you can see you can record everything at one time Okay guys and this is the Full HD at 30 fps with the recording of the Realme 8 with the front camera. On the front we have a 16 megapixel selfie camera as you can see and let me know how is the video quality looks like on the front and according what I see on the screen the colors looks really really good and again I'm just walking around you guys are judge of the video quality as well as the video stabilization. So now let's running now let's see the video stabilization at running and you can see again you guys are the judge of the video quality and this phone also has a ultra steady mode so now let's enable the ultra steady mode okay, guys and this is a full hd at 30 fps with recording of the realme 8 with the front camera and this time i am using the ultra steady mode on the front we get a very good video stabilization so now let's see the video stabilization right now i'm just walking around so now let's running and you can see and the video stabilization it is improved a lot in this phone but the quality after say it is little bit zoom in Okay guys and this is a 4K at 30 fps video recording of the Realme 8 with the back camera. Again we have a 64 megapixel main camera with f1.8 aperture and 
now let's see the video stabilization in this lighting condition and you can see right now I'm just walking around and you can see we also see a little bit of focus issue in low light so now let's see the video stabilization at running and you can see and the video stabilization it is not really good while I'm running and also we see a lot of noise in the video as well so now let's see the ultra steady mode now let's see that we have any improvement in the video stabilization or not okay guys and this is a full hd at 30 fps video recording of the realme 8 with the back camera and this time i am using the ultra steady mode which gave you a very good video stabilization although the quality it is really really bad and you can see very noisy i have to say so now let's see the video stabilization and right now i'm just walking around now let's running and you can see and the video stabilization it is it is little bit improved but you can see that the quality it is really really bad very noisy i have to say okay guys and this is a full hd at 30 fps with the recording of the realme 8 with the back camera in low light and this time i am using the ultra study max mode on this phone which uses a ultra wide lens on this phone this phone has a 8 megapixel ultra wide and you can see and the quality it is really bad on this phone very noisy i have to say now let's see the video separation in this mode we have any improvement or not and right now I'm just walking around and now let's running and you can see and the video stabilization it is I would say really average in this mode but the quality it is really very bad okay guys and this is a full HD S60 FPS video recording of the Realme 8 with the back camera in low light and you can see and guys right from the start and the video quality it is really dark as well as more noisier and you can see but in this mode we have 60 fps i don't recommend this phone you can see the video it is really very really dark i don't know why so now let's see the video separation in this mode and i'm just walking around and now let's running and you can see and the video separation in this mode it is much better but again the quality it is really really bad okay guys and this is a full hd at 30 fps video recording of the realme 8 with the back camera in low light and this is a normal mood as you can see and guys in this mode and the video quality looks really really good and you can see and also we didn't see that much noisiness and now let's see the video separation in this mode again i'm just walking around looks really really good i have to say so now let's running now let's see the video separation at running and you can see again and the video stabilization while I'm running it is not really good but overall I like the video stabilization as well as the video quality in this mode okay guys and this is a full HD at 30 FPS video recording of the realme 8 with the back camera in low light and this time I am using the normal ultra wide video and here is the video recording from the ultra wide and you can see ultra wide is gave you a so much area for recording but you can see that the quality it is really very really bad Okay guys and this is a full HD at 30 fps video recording of the Realme 8 with the front camera in low light and you can see on the front we have 16 megapixel selfie camera and now let's see the video stabilization again I'm just walking around holding my phone with my hand and you guys are a judge of the video quality so now let's see the video stabilization while I am running And you can see overall I have to say and the video quality and you can see it is not really bad as well as the video separation okay guys and this is the full HD at 30 fps video recording of the realme 8 with the front camera in low light and this time I am using the ultra steady mode in which you get a very good video stabilization and you can see right now I'm just walking around so now let's see the video separation while I'm running so now let's running and you can see and guys and the video stabilization in this mode it is improve a lot and thank you so much for watching this camera test of the new realme 8 let me know your thoughts in the comment section below or i have to say that and the camera performance i would say and guys and the performance in daylight as well as in low light it is not really good on this phone i wish that this phone should perform 
better as compared to this but the camp performance overall it is not really good so let me know your thoughts in the comment section below subscribe to my channel for daily tech videos and follow me on instagram and twitter as well and i will see you in my next video peace out